Yay! Introductions! Call me Deadpool. Alright, fellow YouTube is here to bring you another review, this time on the Guardians of the Galaxies little kit from Marvel Universe that comes with Star-Lord, Rocket Raccoon, Groot, and Drax the Destroyer. This is a pretty cool set. Uh, I don't know that much about the Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, I kind of know the broad thing of where they spring into action if something is threatening the galaxy. I know a little bit about the characters. I know that Drax is being played by Batista. Rocket Raccoon will be voiced by Bradley Cooper. The Star, the Star Lord, I think, is by a guy that's losing a lot of weight. And Vin Diesel is going to be playing the voice of the Groot, if this is the Groot, because I thought he was way bigger. But I already know for Iron Man 3, I did not get the Mark 42 and the Iron Patriot. And when the movie came out and I wanted them, they were sold out everywhere and very hard to get. And a lot of scalpers were online so it was very hard to get the toy but here let me do the toy review but I already know I like Rocket Raccoon from what I've seen from Earth's Mightiest Heroes but as far as the box goes you know comes with kind of a little background it's pretty cool um, on the side it shows all three of them Drax and Drax and the Star Lord and Rocket Raccoon and Groot they're on the, the first side and on the other side it just has the name Guardians of the Galaxy on the back of the box you know it tells you a little bit about their overall story, and then it shows you another pack, which is for the Fantastic Four, which comes with Herbie. Okay, I thought that I was thinking of a uh, Wally for some reason, but anyway, and it shows you a picture of Steve Rogers. But it's pretty awesome, and it's a pretty cool pack. They all come with their weapons, and Star Lord came with these two like guns that he holds very firmly. They're not loose. I like how they fit in like his hand, because you know most of the time. They won't have it where it's actually, you know, a really nice figure, really. Like, well, okay, I take that back. It'll be a nice figure, but they only make the weapons where they firmly fit in into the hand. And they kind of will mess up at, at, like, times. So, like, I don't know. It's just, to, to me, I thought they came out really, really cool. But on this figure with the articulation, you know, you can bend, you can bend the ankles. And you can also, uh, like, you, like, you can bend the ankles. It'll bend at the knees, thighs will twist, it's on a ball. Yep, it can spread out, very flexible. Abdomen can move on a ball joint on the shoulder, so those can move. Arms can bend. Head can actually move. That did not look like it would be able to move how it's worked. But yeah, that is Star-Lord. He's very bendable. Then when you get to Dracoon, he's a little bit different. He actually, like, he comes with this cool gun, which the gun's awesome, I'm not going to lie. But not only did he come with the gun, he also comes with uh he also comes with this little kit here, which I think is awesome. Uh I mean I'm sorry, his little his little outfit of how he's dressed. And the only thing that can actually move on him, everything is stiff except for his arm, is uh well not his arm, his hand to put the gun in, little you can bend his fingers as his tail. His tail will move around about such and such here and come back, and that's pretty much it. I wanna be wanna break it. Groot, so there's not much to say. That's Groot, pretty much. I don't even know if I can zoom in my camera to be that clear. There we go, I just had him and I messed him up. Go Caleb. That's Groot. This is Groot, the figure. So Groot is uh, one of the new figures. It doesn't really do that much, it's kind of more of a prop. And then we have the big fella. We have Drax the Destroyer. He comes with two like kind of small like knives, like daggers. You know, he has little scars on his chest. He's bendable. Actually, he's kind of different. He has on pants. I haven't had an action figure with pants like how he has on in a long time. Um, ankle bends a little bit. His feet bend. His abdominal area bends too. Head turns completely around. Turns around. A little stiff, but it turns. And uh, his arms are on a ball joint. It can be put at any angle for him to pose in or to hold this uh or to hold his weapons. On the back of him he has an actual little belt that holds both his swords for him for I guess when he's about to go into battle when he just finished. So it's a pretty cool figure. It's pretty neat. I can't wait for the movie to come out. This is actually one of the ones I never really read on so I'm finding out little information about them. But they're very interesting and I don't see why they wouldn't come out that cool. I think it'll be funny. I think it'll be a really good uh, movie. And I think they chose some good actors whenever I watched the clip from Comic-Con. But yeah, that's my review of the Marvel Universe Guardians of the Galaxy. So if you're a fan and you're just seeing that they're bringing out these figures now, then I would get it. Or, you know, maybe 
you uh, want to learn more about the movie and you already see that you're interested whenever you Googled it and you just want the figures now. But for me, this is a review on the figures of them and hope you enjoyed it. And if you want a collection, you need to pick them up, then go on ahead and do it. Because they put a lot of detail into these figures and the paint job looks awesome on Star Lord. He looks awesome to me how it came out. Looks awesome. That's a nice paint job. Good paint job on Rocket Ra Raccoon. Not that much on Groove, but you have to understand he's really small. And Drax came out pretty good too. But this is Caleb Craig Deadpool 1 2. Hope y'all enjoyed my review of this pack that comes with, I guess, roughly, let's say, three figures. And that's all. Enjoy it. Y'all have a good one. Thank you for your cooperation and watching.